that are so fun for a playroom or a nursery. I am going to of course use these for photo shoots too, but eventually they will find their place in the nursery. I already made one of these mushrooms. And putting this together, I decided these to be heavier in the bottom because the first one I made was a bit top heavy. So I will show you in step one how to add the cement. So the things you're going to need, an 18 inch diameter wood round, an 8 inch cylinder cement mold cut down to about 11 inches, measuring tape, a marker, heavy duty packaging tape or duct tape, hot glue and glue sticks, two yards of stretchy cotton of the color of your choice for the cover. I did purple with varying yellow dots and for this one I'm going to do mustard yellow with lighter yellow dots. One and a half yards of muslin to go under to be the loose gills of the underside of the mushroom and then you'll need varying scraps of fabric to be cut into about 20 miscellaneous circles from three inches to diameter to six inches in diameter. And you'll need one inch of 2.5 yards of non-roll elastic, safety pins and pins, scissors, craft glue, two bags of moss, mat, peel and stick, flat foam scraps or old grocery bags, enough to stuff your mushroom, 18 standard one half inch nuts and bolts, a drill and a drill bit, and three metal corner brackets for support. and rub this around on concrete to even it out a little bit. And I'm gonna just put that over the top. And I was interested in what we're doing. Hey buddy. It's a little cold outside, so he's gonna hang out inside with Daddy. And there you have it, that's gonna be the trick. So now that my cement has hardened, I can go ahead and add my corner brackets for my support. And I just do that with my drill. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this to where it's just about along the top, a level to the top like that. And um, I'm just gonna place my corner bracket here and drill my holes through. Once I have my holes made, I can take my nut and bolt and Go ahead and twist it through and you can use your flathead screwdriver to twist it in and then I'm going to use my nut on the other side to secure it and I'm going to do that with all of my holes and bolts until I have all my holes done and they are more secure. I am going to put hot glue around these to help secure them because once I have the top of my mushroom on, I'm not going to be able to ever access that again. And once you have your three corner brackets, we're going to center it onto the wood round. You could just go ahead and eye this, but I do recommend using a measuring tape or a ruler and just going around your circle and every five inches, make a mark and then you'll be able to eye it better of where exactly your center is. Once you have the center of your wood round marked, then you're going to carefully flip this and secure it in place. Now we run for step three, but we're making a mushroom from step three day and it's number two day so it's a nice day you have to pick days yeah. and what day is it? Wait day. Peekaboo! <laughs> Alright so now we are on to step three. I've got my big bag of random pieces of foam and we're just going to make the 
a cushion and part. And it's not a number two now. It is a number three. Yeah, number three. Are you three? Yes. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to add all of our foam to make our mushroom soft. Okay. Okay. We have um, some packaging tape, the heavy duty kind that we're going to just put all of our stuff on. Are you going to help me? under gill of the mushroom with an ivory fabric. I do recommend using a lighter cotton. I've got a thicker fabric here, but you're just going to go ahead and fold over the fabric again and again until you've reached the full circumference of the under part of your mushroom. While I have my mushroom upside down and the felt bottom is drying, I'm gonna put on my, mu my moss matte peeling stick. And that is messy, just to give you a heads up. Now that I flip my mushroom around, I can tape it to the top. It doesn't have to be pretty because it's not going to be seen. It's going to be covered by our top cover. For the top cover of your mushroom, you're going to need to lay the fabric over the mushroom and cut around the sides. Then go ahead and add all of your circles that you've made. Pin them into place. Well, this is looking really cute. I'm excited. So now that I have them all pinned on, I'm going to go ahead and sew them together. Wrap your elastic around the circumference of your mushroom and cut it with a, about three inches to spare overlapping. And then you're going to safety pin your elastic into place and make sure that it doesn't twist. You're gonna safety pin it a few inches down on the fabric. Then put it on the sewing machine and you'll wanna fold it over once, about half an inch, and then over again. And you're gonna wanna sew this together, but make sure you do not sew the elastic. You wanna sew just the fabric. So just use your fingers to fill where it is and move around. And then once you've done that, you're gonna close your elastic together, sew it together. I just did a rectangular shape around there. And then go ahead and stretch the elastic all through. This is why it's important not to sew the elastic to the fabric. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope this inspired you. Let me know how yours turned out and leave a comment below. Bye.